This video is for Lamp Words for Life users who are using a Liberator Rugged device. And it's for Words for Life users who've been using the one hit version of Lamp Words for Life. The one hit version provides a stepping stone to help someone learn to use the full version. In one hit, you have exactly that. One hit is one message. So if I hit the apple, I say eat. If I hit the drinks, I say drink. If I hit the dice, I say play. One exception in one hit is if I hit the family, I then have two hits to say mum, two hits to say dad, and I can learn those patterns. But someone may have been working in one hit for a while and might be ready for some of these buttons to take them to the next level, to that two hit level like the family page. Perhaps they've been working in this space for a while and they're ready to move to being able to say drink with two hits and also then be able to say other words like water, juice, things like that. And if that's the case, this is how you do that on the Liberator Rugged device. So we go down to these three stacked dots and that opens up the menu bar and we're going to turn edit mode on. We know edit mode is on when you've got the red writing at the bottom, it's telling us edit mode is on. Also tells us the name of the page that we're on in these um, box brackets. Good to know that because when you are doing this method, you're going to need to know the name of the page that you're bringing into your one hit vocabulary. So you might need to go into a copy of the transition vocabulary or the full vocabulary and find out the name of the page you're bringing over. If you want to just bring all the pages across, which is something I'll talk about, you don't really have to worry about that. So that's a whole other option that we'll discuss. So I've turned edit mode on and I need to do two things in here. I need to import the page and I know that this page is called juice so I need to import the juice page and then I'm going to need to link this button to the juice page so let's do that together. When I'm in edit mode I can get I can open up the menu bar again and I'll get different options in the menu bar this time because I'm in edit mode. So now I can go to pages You'll see there aren't that many pages in one hit, of course, but you'll also see that we've got three stacked dots up, dots up there and down here. And if I hit these again, I'm going to get more options. So now I'm going to import. Here are all the systems, the vocabularies on this device at the moment. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to lamp transition. There it is. Now I'm shown all the pages on lap transition. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm looking for juice. There it is. Scroll a little bit more. So I'm going to import the juice page. So my task isn't finished yet. I've imported the page now, but now I still need to make this button do something a bit different to what it's doing. At the moment, it's saying my message, it's saying drink, but I need to change it. So I'm going to long hold, hold this button for three seconds. and go edit button. I'm going to keep this bit the same, no need to change this, but I'm going to go into actions and I'm going to tell the button to do something different. I no longer want it to speak the message, so I'm going to remove that action. Now I have no actions, this button does nothing at the moment, but I'm going to now add an action. And I want to jump to a page. So let's scroll down 
and there it is, jump to a page. Now I've been given all the pages that I have and you'll see that Juice is there because I imported it. I can select it now and go OK. Now I can see that's the function I've given to this button. Save. Let's turn edit mode off. Oh, it is off. And now my buttons are still one hit, but my drink button, I can now say drink and learn to say it with two hits. And I have access to more vocabulary. I can say water. I can start saying um, like juice or drink, water. So that's how you make one of these buttons transition, but also how you would make um, it go to the full version as well. One of the tips that um, John Halloran talks about in his video about this on an iOS system is to actually import all the pages over, which you can do. That way you're pretty set up to be able to make any of these um, buttons take you to the transition level. Um, and that way you could very quickly move up and up and up towards getting to the full version of Layout Words for Life. If you did, were wanting to link to the full version, you would either need to swap to that whole vocabulary or import every page in the full version. Because when it comes to the full, you're not just taken to two hits, you're taken to three as well. So you need to import all the pages if you're using that strategy. So if I did want to do that, same strategy as before, I hit my three stacked dots, I turn on edit mode, I hit my three stacked dots again, and I go to pages, and I'm going to hit my three stacked dots again and import. And I'm going to do this for transition. So I've decided I want all the pages from transition so that I'm ready to go. I wouldn't worry too much about your spelling pages, but you do want all the others. And the way you do that is you just tick every one. Now I'm using a mouse right now instead of my finger, which is what you would be doing, which would mean that this would be a bit quicker. But imagine I've selected them all, then I hit import, it imports them all, and now I'm ready to make any button transition if I wanted to. I could also then undo if I've decided, mm, actually, that wasn't a great idea. We're going to go back to drink just being one hit. Very easy to do that too. I just long hold the drink button, edit button, and remember it's all about the action. I'm going to take that action away and put back my speak message action or speech message. There it is. Tick. Now I can see that that's the action this button has. Hit save. And now my button is back to the way that it was in a one hit. I hit the button, it says drink. I hope this video was useful. Thanks.